Alright, in this video we're reviewing Terrellicost's God Loves the Violence. This was released in 2011. This happens to be their first album, and this is also our last Terrellicost review that we'll be doing for a while unless they release something new. First of all, I love the intro track. The very first track is called I.N.T.R.O. Intro. It's it's the first track on the album. I, I love the way it sets up the album and I love the way it flows into the next song and carries on in, into the rest of the album. really like Yavi's voice. I think, once again, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name or their name. Uh, I do like Yavi's voice. Uh, they have a bit of the screamy type stuff but with melodic stuff as well. The sample use on this album this is the very first Terrellicost album that I can actually hear the samples and identify some of the samples. The, the track Feeding on the Lies features a sample from, I do believe, the movie, the, the original The Craft movie, that witchy movie. Uh, it does feature a sample from that movie. The track Nihilissimo, Morale, has a sample in the beginning. I'm not sure what it is. I cannot identify it unfortunately, but you can hear a sound, some kind of voice or something saying something. I can't identify where it's from or what it's saying, but there is a sample there. It could be Yabby's voice, I have no idea. Just One Fix, which is a cover of Ministry's song of the same name. Trellicost cover features that, that voice vocal sample in the beginning that is in the beginning of Ministry's version of the song. The song Thirst has a sample in it as well. Once again, I cannot identify where that sample is coming from. I think it's the sample is something to the fact of uh, it, someone's reading someone's rights, uh, like they're being arrested and they're being read their rights. I cannot identify where that sample is from, but there is that sample there. Some of the standout tracks for me, I'll start from the bottom. Number five is Primitive Ways. Number four is Evolution of Tomorrow. Number three is Just One Fix. I love the cover, their cover of Ministries, Just One Fix. Number two is The Pain of Knowing. And number one is Nihilissimo Morale. I don't know why I like that track. I do not understand what they're saying in the track because it's in Spanish, I do believe or something along those lines. I'm not even certain to be honest with you. But I love the track, I love the way it sounds, and it is probably my favorite track off this album. There is a track that does get an honorable mention in the sixth place, which is the happens to be the last what second last track on the album called Life Spiraling Decay. While I don't think this is their best album, I do think it's a solid effort and I do I do recommend listening to this even though you may you may not enjoy it as much as their other ones. I do feel it is still a solid album. If you've watched our other reviews you would know that I'm really big on Terrellicost right now. For, for some reason I'm really enjoying their music. I came across them during the pandemic. Uh, well technically I came across their, this album I do believe uh, pre-pandemic but it, it didn't really do anything for me at the time and I, I had only heard the the cover of Just One Fix saw the video for it. The video is actually really cool now that, now that I've watched it several times after the fact uh, but at any rate I came back to them randomly because I was searching for music and I think they came up on my playlist randomly and I found I was really enjoying them then and during the, the periods of lockdown. Then they just kind of stuck with me and it, it's really funny too because there were certain bands that I couldn't listen to during the, the periods of lockdown because it would just, the mentality that the music would put me into was not a very good one so I would not listen to that stuff. But, and, and the other thing is, some of that stuff that I was listening to during the pandemic, I, am having, I have a hard time listening to after uh, the periods of lockdown. However, Terrellicost is very different. I, when they came on randomly, I decided I wanted to explore their stuff a little further. And then, and then 
I actually found I really enjoyed it. And then, then there was a period that I wasn't listening to them during the lockdown. But after w the pandemic was declared endemic, whether it was or not, it's still up for discussion. But, but uh, I, I did not have a hard time listening to these guys, even after, uh, for some reason, they just stuck with me. And yes, really enjoy it. I think you should give this album a listen. The album's called God Loves the Violence. It came out in 2010. It's by the band Terelicost. I actually think you should listen to all their albums. This is the final review for all of the Terelicost stuff that we were reviewing. They do have a couple of remix albums that I'm not going to review because I'm not really interested in remixes. Uh, remixes don't really do anything for me. Yeah, give this album a listen. Listen to their other stuff. Highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Hey, if you think Torella Cost should do another album, maybe leave that comment in our video. Uh, interestingly enough, Yavi did comment on one of the past uh, uh, YouTube videos, or, or you can go to Yavi's channel and say, hey man, like fucking write more music because this is amazing stuff. This is, you know, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much, how, how much more ecstatic I can be about the Torellica stuff, but if you feel this video has a value, please share it. And if you enjoy what's on this channel, please hit that subscribe button to be notified when the next video comes out. So see you in the next video. Fuck yeah.